News is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa, Nail and Barber Shops, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical, and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies, and sports. Persons of like minds in their personal and professional capacities. Minister for Health and Social Development, Honorable Vincent O. Wheatley. Chairperson of the Board of the BVI Tourist Board and Film Commission, Mrs. Dalma Maduro. Former legislators, Dr. Kedrick Pickering and Shireen Flax Charles. President of the H. Lafferty Stout Community College, Dr. Richard Georges. Rodney Skelton, Ms. Rose Gardner, just to name but a few. They were all on spot at a prime level three, drawing their support behind an initiative designed to have a major impact on persons in the culinary industry, the BVI Food and Wine Festival, a festival that kicks off in 2024. And it's an initiative of Miss Abby O'Neill and Mr. Tony Roberts. The idea for, for forming the, B, the BVI Food and Wine Festival was really to highlight the BVI to the world, um, the the in a culinary and, and uh, uh, wine perspective, the um, a lot of BVI Islanders, you know, would love to sample food from around the world and cannot for whatever reason. We plan to bring the chefs here so that everyone can partake. Hence, why the the program is such a varied program for for. We're trying to cater for everybody. I actually have in the wings about 15 chefs from around the world who want to come to it. But look, we can only do so much and cater for so much, you know, within the, the seven days. Hence why we're going to make it an annual event. And hopefully every year there will be different chefs that come. We have BVI's own Chef Neil Klein, educator, restauranter and culinary consultant as the executive chef of the festival. So if anything goes wrong, just blame him. <laughs> we have French classic, classically trained and Michelin star chef Francois Reynard, Josie Smith Malav from Bravo's Top Chef, a former competitor on Bravo's Top Chef, and Michael Ferrero, uh, Michael Ferrero, who is VP of Food and Beverage as, at Tavistock Restaurant Portfolio, OPIC from Bali, Indonesia, and the head chef here at Prime Restaurant, and our very own 26-year-old culinary prodigy hailing from Virgin Gorda, Arik Flax Clark. The festival will visit various locations on our islands and visit four of our islands' islets and keys. This launch took place on October 24 when word broke of the Rao Fatih and Idris O'Neill Foundation as one of the activities of the Food and Wine Festival features the Foundation's first initiative. We are excited about all of the events and the entire festival, uh, but there are two really important highlights that we are most excited about. The first being the Grand Tasting Village that will take place at Nani Key, um, that involves uh, every restaurant that wishes to participate, um, a mixology contest, all of the chefs that are visiting will do live demonstrations, our BVI Food and Wine Festival Kids Cooking Contest, uh, as voted by the public, the winner will be presenting their dish live. And so there's a lot of entertainment and activity at that event for the general public to be a part of. And the other is a proud collaboration with HLSCC's culinary program, Rose Rosewood Little Dix Bay, and the Ralph T. and Idris O'Neill Foundation, where we are working together to present a dinner with an international chef of significant acclaim that will work with the culinary students from afar. And when they arrive, they will work with the students for the week that they are here, and the students will form a part of the brigade on the night of that dinner at Rosewood Little Dicks Bay. 
50% of all ticket sales from that dinner will be donated directly to the HLSCC culinary program. The closeout of the first edition of the BVI Food and Wine Festival sees Yes Van Dijk in focus on Sunday, April 21, 2024. With this JTV News Update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught on. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well.